Hey guys, it's your favorite NPHP and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna bring you guys along to one of the conferences that I go to. You guys know as nurses, nurse practitioners, you still need continue, continuing educations or CEs to renew your license. One way that I collect my CEs is going to conferences. But today I'll take you along. Right now I'm in the parking lot waiting for my friend Courtney to arrive and um, I'll take you in. I do sound a bit raspy. I do have a little cold. My little mama had a cold and of course I got it. So uh, bear with me in my raspy voice today. This Hi. is Courtney. We are about to walk in. Hopefully it's not packed. So that lady you guys just seen, um, Dr. Elaine Richardson, wonderful, wonderful guest speaker. So now we're off to our breakout session. So when we signed up for um, this conference, he was able to pick out of, um, I think, nine different like breakout sessions. So the next one Courtney and I are going to is developing a business plan for advanced practice providers. That's the one we chose. It's about 40 minutes. So we're about to go do that. We're in this wonderful, OSU Student Union. It's a nice place. But yeah, here's our little agenda for today. And we just got done with this guest speaker, which was wonderful. And now we are going to developing a business plan for advanced practice providers. And Brenda Hickson is the speaker. So today, so this is our today's agenda. So, so far, so good. It's extremely cold. I got my little badge on. Wonderful day, we are leaving. I believe we get about what eight or nine? Seven. Sorry. What's including? We shall see. Eight or nine CE hours, which is wonderful. Now we gotta pay our what thirteen? Our thirteen dollars for parking. It's a beautiful day. We are heading out of here. I had a wonderful day at this conference. It was, it was nice. Learned a lot. Um, I would try to, you know, go every year since it's free, and you know, my hospital system um, provides this conference for advanced practice providers. So this is a way we get um, our continued education. They would actually email us in a day or two, and um, where we could uh, print out our continued educations. So um, Courtney and I are actually on our way to the gym. We're gonna go run home, change our clothes, and head to the gym. Get a nice cardio session tonight. Hi, as you can see, I am at work now. It is about, what time is it? 
it's about five o'clock 4 50 in the morning um today is i guess officially now september 13th um let's see where i left off so i guess we went to the gym after the conference we had a wonderful good workout i took her through one of my brutal hit bodyweight workouts and it was wonderful so um now i'm just going to discuss like other ways you could like obtain um ce continue education hours and i have actually my certificate um from last year's um conference and i earned let's see i earned 7.9 continue education from the conference last year this year i'll probably um, get a little bit more because based on how many posters you um you how many posters you went to go see so you see they, they had posters at the conference and if you were able to see like what like three posters you could get additional 0.5 credits if you see six posters you get one if you see um I don't know nine you get 1.5 but we see nine so we're going to get the max of additional like I think 1.5 credit on top of our 6.9 credit so anyway so roughly I'll probably be getting around eight to nine credits just for going um continuing education hours I should say not credits I should get six to nine continue continuing education hours just for going to that conference and again this conference it was held through my um through my hospital, Ohio State University, and it's a free conference for us. Um, I recommend going to any available conferences. At the same time, whatever department you work for, you have to ask about their um, reimbursement because we get like a budget. The advanced practice providers um, with the internal medicine team, hospital medicine team, we get, I believe about a thousand, but it's after working two years. So you get about like a thousand um, dollar budget and you can spend it on anything. Reimbursement for scrubs, um, new lab coat, um, conferences and things like that. So definitely got to check on that when you um, are starting at a new job so other ways that you could get to continue education so first thing I just want to tell you I have a folder when I graduated I created a folder CE's file so I recommend you getting a file soon as you're done graduating and just keeping it on board and basically what I did in my folder here I just wrote like the requirements the um, continue education hours needed for renewing my RN license APRN license board certification which um, I'm certified through the AANP so that's just a reminder exactly how many I need so like I said get a folder and stay organized because you need this for renewing your your license your RN your APRN and your certification board license um, either AANP or the A AANC if I said that right so I brought two books that I received in the mail last year and let's see this one's called elite continue education so it's just a book that you're gonna get in the mail a book that you're gonna get in the mail that's gonna have continue education um, topics readings and you take a pre-test or a post-test but and you could pay for it with these books you could pay for continue education so here it says on this one it says 49.97 for 29 hours in this book and here's another book I received last year too this is continue education for Ohio nurses if you can see and here it what's I can't read backwards but anyway so here it says 26 hours 15 pharmacology pharmacology hours for 29 bucks so you could either buy your CEs this way um, there's in the book like I said it comes with different study materials and then you take a pre or post test also check with your facility here we have um, a continuing medical education through our facility that we could obtain like one credit per topic but I have to do more research about uh, continuing medical education versus CEs and what we obtain is continuing medical education is what the doctors need versus continuing education it's just what we need and I don't know if we can overlap those I have to double check but anyway other ways let's see that you could obtain it is like through your facility when you have to renew your BLS, when you have to renew your ACLS, you get continuing education contact hours for those. So I just recommend printing them out and then keeping them in your folder. I did an EKG re um, refresher course. I got 10.8 contact hours for that. 
my ACLS renewal, I got 7.3. Um, yeah, and like I said, the conference that I did last year, I also got about eight. And I'm, the conference I went to um, a couple days ago, I'll, I'll be receiving a couple more for that. So those are the ways that I know how to obtain some continuing education. Like I said, conference, you, you guys will all receive some of um, these books in the mail sometime soon you don't have to like sign up for anything they're gonna just automatically send you these books and you could um, purchase them that way check through your facility where you work at um, sometimes they offer free continuing education that way and then also like I said any simple class any renewal of like BLS ACLS classes you could get your hours that way at the conference there was a table about the OAAPN which is the Ohio Association of Advanced Practice Nurses and they were just talking about you know it would be a good idea for us to you know join their organization and when we join their organization we have um, access to um, discounted conferences which they actually have a conference coming up next month where um, where Courtney and I are planning on going to that conference as well but they offer like discounted conferences continue education job openings just just a lot of things it costs I believe she said like 125 for advanced practice nurses to join this and but like I said I could ask um, for reimbursement through my job for that and as well as as you know the conferences because these conferences are not cheap this conference I believe like for one day it's like a three-day conference but like for one of the days I believe like a, on it's on a Friday it's like 300 bucks I think you get like eight to nine contact hours that day continue education hours but still um, it could get pricey so definitely want to check about reimbursement um through your job because that would help a lot but yeah so right now i'm planning on joining the ohio association association of advanced practice nurses definitely joining this and hopefully i will see if i could get reimbursed for that but if not it was only 125 to join but hopefully for the conference that um the conference that's coming up next next month hopefully they could reimburse that as well for me but yeah you have to get your continue education hours but do not throw them away print them out keep them somewhere safe because you need it because you don't want to get audited and asked to show proof of your continued education and you don't have it because that could be you could get in trouble <laughs> and we don't want that we don't want any trouble with our license we want to continue to practice continue to take advantage of any free conferences that's nearby or take advantage of any reimbursement that your job offers those are the main ways that i know to obtain your continuing education hours it sounds overwhelming but like i said get a folder write what you need and just stay on top of it don't put the folder on some bookshelf that you're not going to look at keep it on top of things so you just remember you know every two years we renew our rn and apr license and every five years uh, you renew your aanp or your aancc um certification so today is night one for me well it was night one last night i come back tonight so because it's officially friday no, it's officially Thursday, September 13th. So I come back for two more nights. I had a wonderful night tonight. Um, I had three admission, you know, steady cross cover pages. Wasn't too bad. The doctor I worked with, he's so cool. Very, very cool, but just a bit high strung. But hey, it, he kept me awake. <laughs> Pretty nice. I like collaborating with them good teamwork with him so um i believe i'm coming i'm working with another doctor tonight who i worked with before so no worries look at this i brought my mug today for my tea because i brought coffee because i thought i was going to be so tired tonight so i brought my own coffee and then i brought this cup so i could have my tea because normally i have my tea in this but i think i'm gonna keep this here wash it out and keep it here in my locker And of course I have my water, which I need to drink. I neglected my water today. I got a, my goal was to drink all this by the morning, which I could probably at least get half before I leave. But I definitely gotta drink my water. So anyway, that should conclude this video. If you guys have any questions, continue to leave them down below in the comments. Um, don't forget to please give this video a thumbs up, thumbs up, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And until next time, see you later.